Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number 3, that is flowers and seeds, and today I will deliver its fifth lecture. Before moving on towards the lecture, let's start with an activity. So, collect seeds of different plants and paste it on chart paper and present it in class individually. So my dear students, you have students and teachers, you students to say that they different seeds and collect them. And then you have to put them in small, small polythin bags and staple them. And then you have to paste them in a and then present it in the class that these are the plant ke seeds. Hai. So they can, uh, in this way, they can see the shapes, colors and sizes of different seeds. So my dear students, is B a dicot or monocot? Is the bee of the dicot or monocot? Hote these are dicots and then comes the chickpeas, these are also dicots. Then comes the oats, these are monocots. So my dear students, this means that if we see the seed ka internal structure, if you see it outside, it looks like a different size or color, ke nazar aate hai, different shape. Ke nazar aate hai. Lekin, internal structure, ke se bhi seeds ek se different from the internal structure. Some are monocots and some are dicots. Monocots or dicots, kya hote hai? we will have a look at that. So my dear students, compare and cross, contrast the structure and functions of chickpea and maize seed. So my dear students, let's have a look at the Islamic perspective. Have you thought about what you cultivate? Is it you who make it germinate or are we the germinator? So my dear students, Allah Ta'ala jo hai, wo hi jo hai, wo har paude ko ugane par ya usko uh, beat se pauda banane par kudrat rakhte hai. So my dear students, some pre-reading questions quickly tell me, have you ever dissected any seed? Kya aapne kabhi seed ko darmiyan se khol kar dekha hai? I will show you the pictures of the seeds ke wo andar se khol kar kaise lagte hai. Chickpea seed is dicot or monocot. It is a dicot seed. So my dear students, I request you all to please open page number 43 in your science 5 books. I hope everybody has opened the books. So my dear students, let's start the lecture. So structure of dicot seed, chickpea. Chickpea is dicot seed. It contains two cotyledons. It is composed of following parts. So, my dear students, एक जो चना होता है, वो dicot होता है, क्योंकि इसके अंदर दो cotyledons होते हैं. That is why it is called a dicot seed. अब इसका internal structure कैसा होता है? Let's have a look. Seed coat सबसे ऊपर, इसके ऊपर seed coat होता है, which is called testa. It is thin outer coat that protects the seed from outer harsh conditions and infections. So, the outer part of the seed ka testa hota hai, seed coat hota hai, ye infections se bachata hai. Cotyledons. In dicot plants, the endosperm is absent. The two cotyledons store food for, uh, for the new plants as an alternative to endosperm. So, my dear students, jo, um, Dicot seeds होते हैं, उनके अंदर दो cotyledons होते हैं, और इनके अंदर endosperm absent होता है, which stores the food. The food is stored in the two cotyledons. So my dear students, here you can see, ये एक चना है, सफेद चना, which is called chickpea, और ये उसका testa या seed coat है. ये easily removable नहीं होता, लेकिन आप इसको easily कैसे remove कर सकते हैं? आप चने को कुछ देर के लिए, कुछ घंटों के लिए, for few hours या overnight, पानी में डाल दें and when you will take it out तो आपको इसके ऊपर से ये छिलका आराम से उतरता हुआ नजर आएगा and this coat is called seed coat or testa ये इसको infections से और harmful conditions से save करता है then this tip is called the radicle जहाँ से root grow करती है so this is the radicle of the seed अब हमने seed को चने के बीज को खोल दिया है ठीक है हमने सेंटर से इसको डाइसेक्ट कर लिया है सो दिस इज द प्लूम्यूल ये इसके अंदर ही होता है प्लूम्यूल एंड दीस टू आर द कॉटेलेडेंस वेयर द फूड इज स्टोर्ड एंड दिस इज द आउटर पोर्शन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द टेस्टा और द सीड कोट सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सीड नेक्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एम्ब्रियो द सीड कंटेंस अ पार्ट फ्रॉम वेयर द लाइफ ऑफ अ यंग सीडलिंग स्टार्ट्स व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द एम्ब्रियो सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एम्ब्रियो अगर हम देखें so, this is the embryo, जहाँ से new life grow होगी, यानी के radical, जिसमें से roots grow होंगी, और plumule, यानी के embryo के दो parts होते हैं, plumule and radical. So, my dear students, it contains the following parts, radical, it 
uh, it is a part of the embryo which develops into root and plumule it is the part of the embryo which develops into stem yani ke ye do parts hain embryo ke ya seed ke andar hi ye maujood hote hain ek jo hai usse roots banti hain aur dusre se stem jo hai wo develop hota hai so my dear students is se previous lecture mein hum monocots ke bare mein pad chuke hain aaj humne dicot ke bare mein padha hai let's now compare both of them so comparison between monocot and dicot difference between monocot and dicot seed is given below so monocot only one cotyledon is present two cotyledons are present in dicot cotyledon is thin small and does not store food ab monocot ka jo cotyledon hota hai ye single hota hai patla hota hai chhota hota hai aur ye food store nahi karta whereas in dicots the cotyledons are fleshy and store food and there are two endosperm is present and stores food endosperm is mostly absent in dicots now monocot radical is protected by coloriza protected sheet and plumule by colopetal whereas coloriza and coleopetal are absent or not present in dicots so this is the difference between monocot seeds and dicot seeds monocot seed ki example hai corn maize whereas dicots ki example hai peas red beans and chickpeas so my dear students now is the time for practice for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students uh, draw a monocot seed and label it monocot and dicot seed and label it so aapko ek side pe monocot seed banana hai aur usko label karna hai dusri side par aapko dicot seed banana hai aur usko label karna hai very easy abhi aapne dicot seed dekha monocot seed kuch is tarike se banta hai so this is the endosperm this is the cotyledon then comes the dicot so two cotyledons are present radical isme yahan radical hota hai aur idhar plumule hota hai so this is how you will make the diagrams and you will also label them so my dear students um questions that you will do in this worksheet are give two examples of the plants that are monocots maize and corn uh, give two examples of the plants that are dicots chickpeas peas and red beans what is a cotyledon these are the uh, seed leaves which are present inside the seed what is the radical the radical is the part of the embryo which develops into roots what is a coleopetal it is the protection of the um radical and what is the function of endosperm it stores food in the um uh, monocot seeds so my dear students uh, uh so radical is uh, so coleopetal is the protective covering of the sorry i made a mistake here so coleopetal is the protective covering of the plumule which develops into the stem okay and coleoriza is the protective covering of radical theek hai keep this in mind so my dear students uh, for exercise you will move towards page number 48 and you will do question um, uh, differentiate between the following endosperms and cotyledon and radical and plumule monocot and dicot describe the structure of the chickpea seed aur aapko chickpea seed ka structure bhi batana hai so endosperm and cotyledons mein kya fark hai endosperm stores food in the monocots uh, cotyledon uh, is the seed leaf which is present inside the um a uh, seed and radical and plumule radical develops into the roots plumule develops into the stem monocot and dicot monocot have only one abhi humne uske comparison kiya you can take help from that and then describe the structure of the chickpea seed you can also take help for this from the book or apne diagram bhi iske liye draw karni hai so my dear students now is the time for evaluation quickly answer the question which part of the embryo develop into the stru into roots radical very good describe the function of cotyledons and dicots they store store food because they are thick and fleshy so they store food in the dicots so my dear students now quickly note down your homework for homework you will do uh, you will come on page number 47 and you will do exercise a part 6 and 7 plumule is dicot seeds uh, plumule and dicot seeds develop into shoot root leaves or flowers 
it develops into shoot the first leaves in the dicot plants are cotyledons radical plumule embryo they are plumule so my dear students uh, the first leaves in dicot plants are plumule so my dear students you will do independent of activity number 2 given on page number 42 classify the seeds of dry fruits into monocots and dicots so aapko uh, different jo dry fruits hain unko identify karna hai aur batana hai ki whether they are monocots or dicots so almonds are dicots walnuts are dicots cashew nuts are dicots pistachio is a monocot so this is how you will complete this activity next is project number 2 collect and classify the seeds of vegetables and plants you eat into monocot and dicot wash dry and paste your collected seeds on chart paper label their uh, visible parts as well uh, present your chart in the class so my dear students have different fruits or vegetables khate hain aap unke seeds ko save kar le wash kare dry kare uske baad patch dry kare थोड़ी देर खुश्क होने के लिए रख दें उसके बाद आप उनको चार्ट पेपर पे पेस्ट करें और फिर आपने ये बताना है कि वेदर दे आर मोनोकॉट्स और डायकॉट्स और आप उनके विजिबल पार्ट्स को लेबल भी करें सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज योर होम एक्टिविटी करनी है आपने ये बहुत मजा आएगा आपको करने का एंड सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज अ टाइम फॉर रैप अप सो टूडे वी लर्न दैट चिक पी इज अट सीड कंपोज ऑफ थ्री पार्ट सीड कॉटलिडन एंड एम्ब्रियो monocot seed has one cotyledon while dicot has two cotyledons so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz